Last chapter for coaching legend Lolo Heimuli's Balmoral Liga gym has begun. Aotearoa's most successful combat sports gym has a new home and we sent our newest reporter to the official reopening to say congrats. <laughs> Kia ora, Cairo, the Waikato Warrior George here. We're down here at the reopening of Balmoral Liga, one of New Zealand Combat Sports' most successful gyms. Um, it's making me want to just dust the cobwebs off my gloves and get stuck back into it, so we'll, we'll go see what's going on. So we're here with the master, Lolo Hamuli. Um, first of all, I just want to tell us about the opening of uh, Balmoral Liga, the latest chapter of a uh, legendary gym. I trained them hard, whether they're fighting for an Auckland title or for, you know, for whole titles, you know. So that's basically what, what, what I do. And, and then I was wondering why well, well, I was doing that. Then I realized this is the kids. This is, this is the future. This is what it's all about. And um, in and, and the last uh, two years, I've been working together with some really good people and put together this program for the kids. And this is not just another program. Uh, this, to me, this program is is, uh, is very unique because we take it to another level and and train great more champion. We've done that, you know. We, we've done that. Now is we want to create champion outside the ring or outside the, the octagon. Ex All Black, Ironi Clark. Um, obviously, you're here to support Lolo and the gym opening up. Um, do you just want to talk to us about uh, the involvement that you've had with Lolo and, and share a little bit about that? Yeah, I mean, the wonderful thing about even before rugby went professional, um, we, there was always a certain sort of, sort of training that we did. And in those days, it was really wonderful that we got involved with Lolo that started to help us. And another friend named Brian Worthington, who got us boxing, who got us fighting in this, in this sort of style, which gave us a whole lot of uh, new ways of, and innovative ways for us training instead of the same old training that we used to do as rugby players. Uh, he's the master. He's absolutely. We call it the Tufunga in Samoa, and he's the the master in the Tufunga in in the, in the fighting fighting field. What I've experienced training with Lolo and training with friends like Brian Worthington, I want my my little boys to be able to experience the same thing as well. And hopefully that they will catch on. It'll spur them and fire them into their potential and what they're going to do in the future as well. That's a boy, all right, kia ora everyone. We've uh, managed to pull aside Sam the Terra Rapera uh, over here, a local Taranaki legend. Uh, first of all, Sam, just uh, what's your involvement with Balmoral Liga and um, how did you get linked up with Lolo Hamuli? Um, I started training with Lolo uh, like 10 years ago and I fought my whole pro career under Lolo. And uh, I, when I heard about the gym reopening uh, this gym, I was like, you know, I definitely got to go up there. It's, you know, it's such an awesome gym. It's had so many good fighters through it, so I wanted to be here for this special day. Yeah, he knows the fight games, obviously, and um, like I learned so much from there. I leveled up as a fighter when I was training with Lolo. Uh, but it's actually what I learned from Lolo out of the ring about being a good person, about, um, you know, and like even what today is about this dedication to the kids and the kids' programs. And, and Lolo always put uh, his training with the kids just just on the same part as fighting training with all the top fighters you know all these elite world level fighters Mark Hunt and everybody and like his his kids classes are just as important so it was it was great to see and um, and like it was very inspirational Go!